Welcome to the Need for Excel channel lesson 19. In this video lesson, I will teach you how to name ranges, constants and formulas and show you how to use them to simplify your work. What does naming a range exactly mean? Well, that's easy to understand. Simply select a range of cells, go to the name box, name it something relevant and hit enter. You've just named your first range. If you go to the name box and select that name, the range for which that name was defined gets selected. Naming ranges is a very useful feature which you can use while creating formulas, reading and understanding complex formulas that are already created in a workbook by somebody else and most importantly while using VBA. That is because VBA does not automatically rearrange the cell references that are referred to in a VBA code if the cell or the range of cells is moved to a different location the way Excel normally would. This is a simple VLOOKUP arrangement. I've got invoice numbers and invoice values. Then at the side, I've got a drop down list where I can select the invoice numbers and I want the invoice value to show up over here. Let's use a regular VLOOKUP. This is my lookup value. Table array is going to be this range comma 2, comma 0 because I'm looking for an exact match. Let's try the same VLOOKUP using the defined name. Equals VLOOKUP. This is my lookup value. Table array is going to be the name which we just defined a few moments back. So I can simply start typing invoice details and hit the tab key. Just in case you forget the defined name, use the short key F3 to paste a defined name. Then the column index number is 2 and 0 for exact match. Isn't that amazing? If you have loads of data with many rows and columns, defining names will save you a lot of time. Off to the next topic, naming constants. Let us assume that the current tax rate on the sale of goods is 10%. You can put 10% in a cell and then while creating the formula, refer it to that particular cell. For example, invoice value multiplied by the tax rate. And all the invoice values are multiplied by the 10% tax rate. There is another way to do this using defined names. Under the formula tab, go to define names and name it something like tax rate and in front of refers to put equals 0 0.10 0 0.10 meaning 10 percent okay now you can simply go ahead and multiply it by the new defined name tax rate enter double click to send it down if sometime in the future the tax rate changes from 10 percent to 20 percent you can simply go to the name manager, select the name and change the tax rate. And the formulas automatically update. You can also do this with text. For example, typing need for Excel all the time is a pain. I can simply go to the name manager, create a new name, name it something like NFE and in front of refers to put need for excel inside quotes and click ok every time I use is equal to NFE and hit enter the full name is automatically entered last topic naming formulas most important thing to understand with such formulas is that they do not exist in cells the way normal formulas do they exist in the memory Second thing, these formulas always use relative references. In this particular situation, I have the values and in the final value section, I want this value multiplied by 10% tax and then I want that 10% tax to be added to this value and then I want the final total here. Notice currently B43 is my active cell. I can go to define names, name it something like tax calculation 
and in front of refers to what equals a43 plus a43 multiplied by 10% bracket close click ok let's try it out equals tax calculation notice how it automatically selects one cell to the left of the active cell this is because the references are relative references hit enter double click to send it down I hope you had fun learning name ranges exercise files for all my videos are available on my website www.needforexcel.com if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel to keep yourself updated about all the new content that I post. Thank you.